things going. The Golden Knights will look to go on the offensive as they win the opening draw. Here's a short pass to Aho. Stayed by the goaltender who stayed with it on the redirect. Eichel's hard to bump off the puck because of his strength and balance. That's his unstoppable force zone ability, and it helps him maintain possession in the zone. Aho's third eye zone ability means he can distribute the puck so well. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. Well, he's going to get the slashing call here, James, and it's a stick infraction. What that means is you're in a vulnerable spot. Why? Your opponent has gained position on you. Here's a first look at the power play. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Hurricanes have it now. Moves it on over to Jarvis. From the right side, they gain the zone. Moves it quickly over to Stone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Tries to get it over to Aho. Good heads up play with the bank pass. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. players work on this all the time in practice James it's about getting position net front and then once that puck is coming towards you you got to get your hands away from the body with great hand-eye coordination just get your stick on it you're not sure where it's going all the time but this time it winds up in the back of the net the Hurricanes and their fans are buzzing right now how about that a quick strike just minutes into this one well that quick strike gets them on their feet and listen when you're playing you can feel that energy you feed off it when your home crowd is cheering for you especially when you're playing well no better way than getting on the board first fires it on net great glove save by Kachetov lots of hockey left to be played in this period the Hurricanes have taken a 1-0 lead. And off the draw, they'll take possession. And now he moves it quickly to Slavin. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Carolina's looking to break out. Vegas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And they send it right back to him. And he takes the dish. Broken up by Petrangelo. Grabbed along the board by Barbashev. Here's a chance on the attack. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Tara Heinen. The Hurricanes carry it along the wall. Quick pass over to Kolasar. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Tara Heinen. The Hurricanes played along the boards. Moves it to Tara Heinen. And he hangs on to the puck. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period. one nothing to score. Quick pass across to Pesci. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Take it along the wall by Pesci. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Hurricanes take it along the wall. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Slick feed. Change it up. Change up. The Hurricanes gain control of it. Inside the offensive and now down the left. Stopped by the goaltender. Makes a save again. What a great job of tracking the puck. Not one, but two consecutive saves. More than half the frame has been played here. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. The Golden Knights play it along the boards. Quick feed to Dorothea. Oh, tonight on the play! Wow! Uh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. And as play continues, this place is still present and they're getting loud here now. Wow, this is 
is all about fan appreciation for that huge save. And man, does this ever feel good. You know, you feel it right through you when you know you've made that big save and everyone around you is appreciative. Line change. Sent into the offensive zone. Slides it diagonally to Dennis Senko. The Golden Knights are across the line and into the offensive end. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Stahl's got it against the boards. And that's picked up in the defensive end. Vegas has been so strong defensively, and they've been putting their opponent in vulnerable positions all night long, but they've got to find a way that when they intercept... Slap the buzzer, and they put one! Well, coaches always say the first minute and the last minute of every period are critical. Well, now they've got momentum heading into the next frame. they got to carry it forward. The Hurricanes are now up by two, and they have really looked like the dominant team that we expected them to be here in this opening frame. Yeah, they dictated pace right from puck drop, and they've held possession, and it's the reason why they have a majority of shots on goal, and they've been rewarded for their efforts, James. There's the horn for period number one. As it comes to an end, we've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. James Sabalski with you, period number two, the middle frame, ready to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped, let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment? Hill's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And now it's over to Marcheseau. And he can't hang on after that hit. Receives the pass. The Hurricanes pick up steam and are on the attack. Centering feed. And that goes off a stick. And that goes off a player. And that one's turned away. Vegas takes possession of the puck. Here they come up along the wing. Sends it in front. And that's blocked in front. And he takes a shot. Misses the net and will play on. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities, and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. Carolina's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Kara Bynan's on the attack in the offensive zone. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a short pass to Bunty. Tonight, James, he's been at the right place at the right time with good timing, but unable to convert as it goes off the pipe numerous times. Moves it quickly over to Burns. Pass to Slavin. The Hurricanes will play it from the defensive zone. Now he takes it over the line. Works it across to Bunting. Here he is with the backhander. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's knocked away. Directs it on over to Kotkaniemi. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Hurricanes continue to hammer the accelerator here in the offensive zone tonight. They've been incredible almost through two periods of play here, and I mean, their ozone possession time is dictating it all. The ability to get to the net, and of course, the motion on the outside, which is disrupting the coverage and opening up the lanes. to make more stops like that, James. He's got to reset the momentum for his team. I mean, it's not about what happened or the present moment. It's about the next save, and that's the key contributor to re- Scores! And my, oh my, how things have suddenly changed here. Well, it 
It's the magic of one goal and the impact it can have, James. You go from a situation where you think you're out of it and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. The Golden Knights have found a spark here late in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They're going to need more than a spark to get back in this one, but it'll certainly start it off as a two-goal deficit is better than a three. Moves into the slot. The score! What a counterpunch they serve up. Wow, you said it, counterpunch. We know the coach is going to love this, this quick, timely response. When you look down your bench, you got to know that there's personnel that can go out there and provide some energy for your team. They just did it. been feeling good all night long and look at where we're at here we're still in the late stages of the period here yeah it's been an unbelievable game for them so far i mean they've just been so dominant offensively their opponent really doesn't know what to do they're trying to slow the game down but they can't because they're just on fire in terms of pace and dictating it well, the body language on the bench says it all james are all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they gotta kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals Well, I really like them working off the 1 3 1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flash. There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James. And they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. Carolina's got more than a few smiles on the bench tonight as they inch closer and closer to the end of the second period. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's been a consistent effort right through two periods of play now, James, and they're going to head into this intermission. It could disrupt their rhythm, and they got to make sure they stay focused, they stay intense, and they come ready. Score! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening. Starting goaltenders out of the net, your relievers come in and it's just gotten peppered. Now you gotta look to one another and say, man, what do we do next? There isn't a third goaltender. Guess what? The team has to pony up being countable in front of them. Carolina's gotta be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Slides it on over to Howden. From the right side and up the middle. Quick shot! And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Bunting's going to the box for tripping. And their first chance to use the man advantage. Smart read on the play as both centers were tied up on the draw. They score! If they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. But you got to figure that this is a step in the right direction. But what can they do with it now? They got to build or it's over. Now it's hard to miss from this distance, but you got to get there and you got to get the puck on your stick. He does a great job of getting in tight. Carolina's coaching staff must be impressed with what they're seeing from their players tonight. Lots of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the second. And he takes the feed. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save! And that brings the second period to an end. Both teams will go back to their rooms and get a quick breather. Well, man, there's a lot of fans looking forward to this intermission action coming up here. Fun entertainment in store. And we've got the third period coming up in moments. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. They've dropped the puck here in the third, and it's been a blowout thus far. Let's see if there's any sort of response. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Carolina. 
has been terrific through 40 minutes of play, but you know the coach is going to be preaching that full 60 minutes to be consistent and see it right through. So they'll have to be defensively responsible, but when they can be on the puck, be hard on it. Moves around along the half wall. From behind the net. Takes a shot and makes a save. Here's a chance. Oh, and another save. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Eichel. Oh, stuck with the pad by Kuchetkov. Picked up along the wall by Burns. And he slides it quickly to Terabinen. Delayed penalty looming. And now it's grabbed by Terabinen. Goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called. They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Let's see what the officials are calling. I always hated to play in these games. You just came out flat and nothing you did made it better. Now they got to kill off the penalty when they're getting blown out. Real tough game. Penalty killing units set to earn their keep tonight as they'll try to kill off a five-on-three man advantage. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Tries to feed it over to McNabb. Chase in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Nice zone entry from the left. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. And another pass. Dishes it off again here. Another pass. it again. Moves it to Ajo. Knocked away. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Slides the puck over. Here's a chance. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Drury's at the face off dot ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And they win the draw on their own end. Carolina's got a hold of the puck now. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable lead and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different though, James. Habits are everything. It's about moving forward and pushing and getting uncomfortable. This group certainly just looked comfortable. Carolina's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Kakaniemi's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Taken by Marcheseau. The Golden Knights looking against the half wall. Big time stop. Quick feed to Natchez. Gains the zone through center. Sends a pass in front. Block shot. Puck picked up by Natchez. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Here's a short pass to Natchez. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Moves it quickly over to Bjornfoot. Wicked stop by the goaltender. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. The Hurricanes are going to serve two for tripping here. is ready to go back to work on special teams. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James, just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Quick pass to Martinez. Shot! Oh, he saved it! Oh, my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea. Some gymnastics at its finest. And they manage to clear it. Vegas has the puck. And they keep the pressure on. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. And that carries off a stick. Here he is, wristed on net. Fantastic save. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. With possession along the wall. And that goes off a stick. Picked up along the boards by Martinez. Chase out of the box, he also scores! All over the rebound, and tucks it in for the goal.
actually a tougher play than it looks, James. You have to have timing and an awareness to be able to get your stick on that rebound and then bury it. Not a lot of time and space available, but he executes perfectly. Vegas has to continue to press and attack here in period number three. Yeah, it was a nice play there to convert on that goal, but they need the other lines to get going, the other D pairings as well to jump into the attack. They need just a whack load of goals here if they want to even have an opportunity at winning this game. Moves it to Ajo. Sends it in front. defend predictability but it is so difficult to defend unpredictability and he has got elite vision he's known for it but the eyes the deceptiveness to them he manipulates everyone and finds the open player carolina's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game and no signs of slowing down in the third it's been a productive night and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing Play blown dead, let's get the call. Every once in a while you just have this kind of night and you just don't have it and shift after shift, nothing goes right. Check in with our own Carlin Bade. Who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Ajo's zone ability is what really helped him generate chances tonight. And I know both players have been able to put up points, but I liked his game better, so he's got my vote tonight. Handles the puck. And that's knocked away by Petrangelo. And that puck leaves the zone. Carolina's playing it through center. Sends a pass over. Huge steal in his own end. Carter stick handling in his own zone. And that's poked away. They fight for it along the boards. Vegas takes hold of the puck. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. Thompson's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Eichel's gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Right in the low slot. A chance from along the wall. And a nice save there as play continues. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Puck grabbed by Ajo. And the crowd's on their feet. Saluting the team after a hard-fought effort this evening. Shot! Great glove save! The Hurricanes are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third.